Hello everyone. In chapter 11, it looks like many of us have trouble go through activity 1. So in this video, I will lead you through activity 1. In chapter 11, we only need a server 1, server 2, and a windows 10. And uh, in activity 1, we only need a server 2 and a server 1. First, uh, let's check the three settings of our VMware workstation are correct. Okay, my server 2 is up. Now let's uh, log in into server 2. In this class, server 2 is a minimal GUI. To make our life easier, let's convert it into full GUI. Open our Windows PowerShell. You see my features are already installed and no restart is needed. If your server tool is minimal GUI, it will install the GUI features and restart. Now let's uh, generate a new security ID for our server tool. Right click, sysprep, run as administrator. Here, check generalize. Click OK. It will take some time to generate a uh, system ID for you. Okay, now a new ID is generated. Let's configure the computer. Skip the product key. Accept the license. Now log into server two. to reconfigure the computer name and IP settings for server 2. Double click local server. Here you see the computer name. We need to change it to for server 2. And also the IPv4 address we need to set as a static. Click Make sure your computer is in work group for time server 2012. The primary DNS suffix. Click OK, click close. Click Restart Later. Now click IPv4 address. 
right click choose the internet protocol version 4 click properties set your IPv4 as this click OK now let's uh, restart server 2 Server 2 is ready for chapter 11. Open your textbook, page 496, activity 11 1. Installing and authorizing a DHCP server. I will lead you through all these steps. Click Tools. Open Windows PowerShell. Install DHCP. Press Enter. Close this Windows PowerShell. Go through three, four, and five, six. Now let's uh, go to step uh, seven. Add the server tool to our domain. Type your username and password. Password zero one. Restart server two. Okay, now it works. We join our server to into log on to the domain. Open the DHCP console. Here you see seen IPv4 and IPv6 are going checked which means they are authorized. If you right click the server node for turn server 2, you will see uh, the unauthorized option. Don't unauthorize for turn server 2. This uh, activity 
11-1 is completed. If your computer here shows red marks, you right click this 4102, you will have an uh, option authorize. Then you need to authorize your server tool. For example, mine, I can unauthorize. It will become red arrows. You can authorize again. Refresh. Now, keep your DHCP authorized and uh, continue other activities. Thank you for watching.